What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Friday, April 9th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Derek White from the San Antonio Spurs playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing point guards, Derek White has averaged 26.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 28, 29, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 28, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 28.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 5,700 FanDuel salary and 400 more on DraftKings. He scored 28, 45, and 22 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Nuggets. So I like Derek White here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, another point guard that I like, I'm going to give you a value play here. It's a high risk, high reward tournament play. I like Alfred Payton from the New York Knicks playing the Memphis Grizzlies who have a middle of the pack defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Alfred Payton has averaged 22.7 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 13, 14, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 21, 21, and 24 minutes. Now, his the minutes that he's playing are down from his season average, and he hasn't been that productive the past two games, but he's projected at 20.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary and 300 more on DraftKings. Now, I like this pick because he scored 44, 22, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games versus the Grizzlies. I think he's got some nice 30-plus fantasy point upside. If he can get 20 to 25 minutes, I think he can pull it off. So I like Alfred Payton here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Bradley Beal from the Washington Wizards playing the Golden State Warriors, who have the eighth worst defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing shooting guards, Bradley Beal has averaged 44.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 35% usage rate. He scored 39 fantasy points last game. He played 30 minutes with a 32% usage rate. He's projected at 42 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 8,300 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,000 more on DraftKings. So I like that FanDuel price. I think he's a little overpriced on DraftKings just because we don't know if he's gonna play 30 or 35 minutes. And that makes a pretty big difference. He can still get you 40 fantasy points in 30 minutes, but he can get you 50 plus fantasy points if he can play 35 minutes or more. And I like this game because Vegas thinks there's going to be 241 points scored in this game. And he scored 62, 57, 39, and 36 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Warriors. I'm expecting his ownership to still be low considering he just came back for one game so far. So I like Bradley Beal here versus the Golden State Warriors. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. 
If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, another shooting guard that I like. This might be my favorite play on the slate or the favorite play that I'm giving you in this video. I like Jeremy Lamb from the Indiana Pacers playing the Orlando Magic who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Jeremy Lamb has averaged 21.1 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 22 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He scored 22 and 44 fantasy points in his last two games, playing 20 and 23 minutes. He's projected at 21.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 less on DraftKings. So I like that price on both sites, and he scored 35, 26, and 34 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Magic. So that's excellent player versus team history. Vegas thinks there's going to be 217.5 points scored in this game. It's a great matchup. So I like Jeremy Lamb here versus the Orlando Magic. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Keldon Johnson from the San Antonio Spurs playing the Denver Nuggets who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They've been good versus opposing small forwards. And Keldon Johnson has averaged 25.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 21, 25, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 26, 27, and 30 minutes. He's projected at 25.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 5,000 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 more on DraftKings. He scored 21, 39, and 33 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Nuggets. Vegas thinks there's going to be 218.5 points scored in this game. So I like Keldon Johnson here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, another small four that I like, I'm gonna give you a value play. I like Patrick Williams from the Chicago Bulls playing the Atlanta Hawks, who have a middle of the pack defense and they're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Patrick Williams has averaged 20.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. He scored 26, 27, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 30, and 30 minutes. He's projected at 21.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. But I think he can score 25 fantasy points or more and get you way over five times value. He's only 4,500 FanDuel salary, and he's 100 more on DraftKings. He scored 28 fantasy points in his last game versus the Hawks, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 227 points scored in this game. It is a back-to-back, -back, but he should still be playing right around 30 minutes. So I like Patrick Williams here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, another uh, small four that I like. I'm going to give you a stud here. I like Kawhi Leonard from the LA Clippers playing the Houston Rockets, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they give up the 12th most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Kawhi Leonard has averaged 45.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He scored 36, 53, and 47 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 37, 36, and 33 minutes. He's projected at 46.9 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score you 50 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 10,000 FanDuel salary, and he's 600 less on DraftKings. So I like that DraftKings price. 
Vegas thinks there's going to be 225 points scored in this game. And he scored 47, 40, 43, 53, and 37 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Rockets. Now, this is a back-to-back, -back, but I checked Kawhi Leonard's history, and he's played in all the back-to-backs, and he plays just about the same minutes as he does every night. So I like Kawhi Leonard here versus the Houston Rockets. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics playing the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have the absolute worst defense overall, and they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Jason Tatum has averaged 42.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. He scored 40, 31, and 38 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 41, 35, and 27 minutes. He's projected at 42 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score you 45 or more fantasy points here in this matchup and get you five times value or more. He's 8,800 FanDuel salary and 200 more on DraftKings. He scored 50 fantasy points in his last game versus the Timberwolves, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 228.5 points scored in this game. It's a fast-paced game and a great matchup. So I like Jason Tatum here versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, another power forward that I like. I was waiting to see how this player would perform. He moved from the Celtics to the Bulls. He got his first game in last game. This is a back-to-back, -back, but I expect him to play about the same uh, minutes. I like Daniel Tice from the Chicago Bulls playing the Atlanta Hawks who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, Daniel Tice has averaged 21.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. He scored 28 fantasy points in his Bulls debut last game, scored 20, uh, played 26 minutes with a 21% usage rate. He's projected at 20.9 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 25 fantasy points or more and get you way over five times value. He's 4,400 FanDuel salary, but he's 700 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 227 points scored in this game. So I like Daniel Tice here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, moving on to the center position. I'm going to give you a stud pick here. I like Nikolai Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have the 11th worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Nikolai Jokic has averaged 55.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He scored 48, 58, and 51 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 30, 26, and 37 minutes. He's projected at 53.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. He's 10,100 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 more on DraftKings. He scored 48, 57, 44, 46, and 66 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Spurs. Vegas thinks there's going to be 218.5 points scored in this game. So I like Nikolai Jokic here versus the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, another center that I like, I'm going to give you a value play here. I like Tristan Thompson from the Boston Celtics playing the Minnesota Timberwolves, 
who have the absolute worst defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing centers. Tristan Thompson has averaged 20.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 22 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He scored 28 fantasy points last game in 22 minutes. He's projected at 20.9 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score you 25 fantasy points, get you way over five times value. He's only 4,300 fan duel salary, and he's 300 more on DraftKings. He scored 34, 36, 31, and 29 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Timberwolves. Excellent player versus team history, and Vegas thinks this is going to be a high-scoring game. 228.5 points scored in this game. It's a fantastic matchup. And actually, this may be my favorite play of the slate. So I like Tristan Thompson here versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.